Hi, and welcome to another free teaching Thursday. This is when I jump into this Facebook group live um, and I give you some free training or some free teaching. For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be going inside one of the Bible study workbooks that I've created and show you exactly the process I go through um, to dig deeper into scripture. These workbooks were created so that you do one day every day of the week or sometimes five to six days in a seven day week but instead we're going to take it slow and we're going to do one day per week for the next couple weeks it's just a really good way to help you dig into god's word and to see how simple it can be just to take a few minutes every day and answer some questions and just learn more and be encouraged so the workbook that we're going to be going through is this one. It's called Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. It is free for you right now to use. So if you don't have your copy, you can click in the link in the description or in the link in the comments. Sign up for this workbook. It'll come straight to your inbox, print it off and join me as we go through it together. So are you ready? Let's jump in. Make sure to scan this QR code to grab your free workbook so that you can follow along. Today I'll be going through day five of the workbook and today I've titled it, Jesus is with you. And we're gonna read Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. So go there in your Bibles. And I will read it, and it says, I'm going to go up to verse 18 to get some context. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. So the first question here is, when did Jesus say this? So this was after his death, after he came back to life, and it's kind of like right before he goes back to heaven. These are the last recorded words we have. How does the timing of Jesus' words affect what he's saying? So the timing is really important. When we ask a when question when we're doing Bible study, you need to understand that time before, after, during can play a lot in the context of what we're understanding. So this is that Jesus is about to leave. But he's saying, I am with you always. So how can he be with them always if he's about to leave? So the timing is interesting because I think the disciples heard this and thought that he would just be with them forever. But Jesus is saying, no, I'm my body is leaving, but then I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. And so even though Jesus isn't there in person, he's with us in spirit. And then not only that, it says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So if you remember yesterday, we talked about nothing separating us from the Lord. And this is time. Time is not going to separate us from God. Even if this was after he left or whenever it was, it doesn't affect our relationship with him. It doesn't affect his ability to be with us. It cannot separate us from God. So this part about what is the timing, that's also a really good question to ask ourselves. Like, why is this being talked about now and not before or after? That can be a really interesting question, depending on the passage that we're reading. I'm highlighting these two things because what I'm doing with this workbook is I'm showing you different questions that you can ask yourself when reading scripture and different things to know that if you want to read scripture on your own, different things to look like. When and timing is a really cool thing to look at. I encourage you to highlight those things in whatever passage you read next. And so what comfort can we take from this verse? So we have a calling. He's talking to his disciples right there, but I believe the calling to us is the same, that we have to go then and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to tell people about God. 
And this is cool because then we have a purpose. Sometimes as a mom, I get discouraged because I feel like I'm wasting my time, like I don't have a purpose. But then I go back to these verses and I think, oh, tell everybody. That includes my kids. So even if all I do all day is take care of my kids, if I'm loving them and teaching them about God and his word, then I'm answering the call. I'm telling others about God. So that's a comfort to me that I have a calling regardless if I feel like I'm not doing anything. The Lord says, no, if you're doing things in my name for me, then you are obeying this call to tell people about me. So that's encouraging. And then it comes back to, I am with you. So sometimes I get jealous about the disciples because they got to spend like three years with Jesus. They got to ask him all the questions. They got to learn from his feet. They got to see his face. They got to spend that face-to-face -face time. And I think, oh man, I really want that. But you know what I think is interesting is that the disciples were not filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came after he left. And so today, even though we're not seeing Jesus, his physical body with us, he is more with us than he was with the disciples because he's in us. So I think that that's really cool. And so the comfort, the whole theme of this last couple of weeks is I am with you. The Lord God himself is with us. So I hope that's encouraging for you. As always, if there's been a verse or a thought or an image that's been encouraging to you or a word that stands out, I'd love for you to share it in the comments. Today, for me, is this word purpose. The devil likes to attack my brain and tell me that I'm useless and I'm doing nothing. And so this is a verse that I come back to, Matthew 28, 20, that when I get discouraged, I come back to here and I say, no, the Lord's giving me a calling to tell others and if I'm raising my children to know him, I am answering the call. And so that's a really good way that I can battle with the devil. And I know my argument's going to win because it's scriptural. So I'd love for you, to share me, for you to share with me what you've learned and how this has encouraged you. And join me next week when I look at some extra verses I've shared with you for you to dig even a little bit deeper. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. A quick Bible study tip for you, always look for when. So what time of day is this? When in the yearly calendar? When did something happen before or after a specific event? So for the time of day, if you think about the Lord's death, it went completely pitch dark at noon. That when is important because that's not a natural event. And knowing the when makes it that much more interesting. When in the yearly calendar, the Jewish people used a very different calendar following the feasts in the Old Testament um, and understanding where that falls in the calendar and why these events are important just helps you understand God's word that much more and so much deeper and interesting. And then when something happened before or after. So again, if you think about the Lord in his death before he died, he couldn't walk through walls. After he died and he came back from life, from the dead, he could. And so knowing that what somebody did before or after a specific event helps us give us a larger perspective um, on a story. If you'd enjoyed this Bible study workbook, I invite you to join the Christian Growth Hub. It is a growing online membership for Christian women who want to grow in their faith with the support and resources they need without adding to your to-do list or feeling overwhelmed. So when you join the Christian Growth Hub, you get access to weekly Bible study workbooks, training on how to read the Bible, how to study the Bible, and how to apply it to your life. Not only that, but you get access to the Christian Growth Hub Facebook group where you can connect with other Christian women who have the same desire as you, ask for prayer requests, get some training, and just connect with me and other members. So join us today. Go ahead and scan the QR code, and I can't wait to see you inside.